the naive string search algorithm is the simplest to take as input a string called the text, which is typically on the larger side, and the second string called the pattern, which is typically on the smaller side, searches for occurrences of the pattern in the text, and returns the first offset into the text at which the pattern can be found. Or, if the pattern does not occur in the text at all, it returns a special value, say minus 1. The naive algorithm is a little bit like linear algebra. It is simple, it can seem boring, but just as linear algebra enables cool applications like deep learning, extensions of the naive algorithm are really interesting. In fact, the only reason I'm doing a separate tutorial on such a simple algorithm is that I want to establish some terminology in order to move to more interesting algorithms, like KMP, Rabin Karp, and Boyer Moore. If you want to get notified when these tutorials go live, make sure you subscribe to the Truly Understanding Algorithms YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to turn notifications on. In the naive algorithm, we take as input the text, called t, its length, called n, the pattern, called p, and its length, called m. We check whether the pattern occurs in the text at every possible offset, using an index i that goes from 0 all the way up to n minus m. We optimistically assume that the pattern is at the current offset. We check this by going one by one through all symbols in the pattern. If some symbol does not match, we simply go to the next offset. If all symbols match at some offset, we have found an occurrence of the pattern. If there is no offset where all symbols match, we return the special value minus 1. The naive algorithm is quite fast on a typical input, but in the worst case, it has a quadratic time complexity. You might have heard that the naive algorithm has a time complexity of big O of n times m. While this can be informative, it is not formally correct, since big O notation is not even defined for two variables. The running time should always be expressed as a function of the input size, and the input size is n plus m in our case. If you want to learn more about big O notation and related topics like the worst case time complexity, make sure you watch my tutorial on big O notation. Find the link in the description box below. Here is a formally correct way to understand the time complexity of the naive algorithm in the worst case. The worst case scenario gives us, for every possible input size, the particular input of that size that maximizes the running time of the algorithm. Now suppose that the input size is fixed. We reserve roughly two-thirds of the input size for the text and the other third for the pattern. We make the text consist of n minus 1 a's followed by a single b and the pattern consist of m minus 1 a's followed by a single b. For this class of inputs, the naive algorithm runs in quadratic time. I will show this by using a simple graphical argument with tokens. Each token represents one comparison, which takes constant time. With the pattern at offset 0, the algorithm compares all symbols in the pattern against the corresponding symbols in the text, and only fails at the very last one. We add one token for each comparison made by the algorithm. At position 1, it again compares all elements in the pattern, failing at the last one, and we therefore add m more tokens. The story repeats itself for all offsets except the last one. At the last offset, all comparisons succeed, and we have found a match. Still, there are as many comparisons as there are symbols in the pattern, and we therefore add m more tokens. We now count the number of tokens. Vertically, there are m lines, and m is roughly one-third of the size of the input. Horizontally, there are n minus m plus 1 columns which is again roughly one-third of the size of the input. 
Therefore, there are big O of n plus m squared tokens overall. As each token represents one comparison and takes constant time, the naive algorithm is quadratic in the worst case. In my next tutorial, I plan to explain how KMP improves on the naive algorithm by making smarter jumps when a comparison fails. Make sure you subscribe to the Truly Understanding Algorithms YouTube channel so that you do not miss this next upload.